We're back for another episode of Hammer Time and with them is Rod Shinners. Mark and, Brown. And Mark Brown. And the three amigos. Yeah. Hammer uh, Time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to throw the issue out and let you guys wrestle. David Orzetti. You knew two years ago there was a study, 19 uh, ERs, and, and one of them was Sault Ste. Marie. And you knew about the crisis and you sat on your hands. And personally, I will personally, if I go to, I have to go to that ER and that place is called a close because under the Canada Health Act, I have a right mm -hmm. to accessibility and I'm denied because of your lack of action. I will sue you as an MPP in your government. And if I have oh, to all right, all right. We're going to give you... No, no, no. David it's Orzetti hard. is not my favorite person in the world. But, but, but it's... Hey, we're, it's by, fine. This, uh, uh, let Ron... Let me finish my point. No, let Mark respond. Let me finish my point. My bad, you're 45. I didn't finish my point. My point is, he knew about it two years ago and he sat on the camera. Okay, time's up, hammer time. It's Mark Brown. He knew. Okay, but you ignore the fact that there's all these physician assistants. I had somebody in my cab who just recently recently moved to this city, who's a physician assistant, mm. and she said she was one of four who had recently joined the uh, emergency room. I mean, I go into the emergency room sometimes and it's completely empty. So it means they're getting people through. The people who I talk to there are saying, you know, this is a wonderful place, the staff are wonderful and we're lucky to have them. So. The you, you, oh, yeah, okay, the no, no, it's Ron's hey, wait a minute. It's your guys that did <laughs> the trade. Yeah, no, okay, wait, wait a minute. Let's go back. Hold on, hold on. So Genesio, oh, you had your turn. Hey, hey, you had your turn. Hey, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. hey, 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 hey. In 1985, that's right. Paul Martin caught $25 billion out of the ER. Paul Martin, what about the NDP government at the time? What the government should be doing right now is bring the doctor shortage. The Canada one came one at a time. Go ahead, Ronnie. Hey, the NDP created this. Problem back no, I don't think so. No, you all have a chance to respond uh, uh, to uh, uh, Mr. Paul Martin when he <laughs> cut uh, uh, ten, uh, twenty-five billion dollars out of healthcare in nineteen ninety-five. Okay, and that's that's created the the antecedent, and that's so where we're at. So you're saying it's a liberal's fault? You got her. Well, I'm saying is the NDP and no, the Liberals' fault. No, no, it wasn't. This is exactly this is why absurd. Canada's <laughs> parliament doesn't work. Everybody's trying to lay blame. We're, we're blame. trying to focus on so solutions. The, the solution, solution is. Do you have a solution? Janas. Yeah, the yes, I do. They can bring in foreign doctors right now, like they did in. in That's in what they're doing. Physician United assistants. States. No, they're not no, they want specialists. They're not certified no, according to Canada standards. Doctors. No, they want. <laughs> we don't have witch doctors from no. uh, some what, far what off foreign country who uh, is, can't speak the language. No, no. Okay, no, one no, at a no, time, no, no, guys. Stop one at a time. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. What we're gonna do? Okay, I'm. I've been timing it so. Ron, you said you don't need to bring in witch doctors. Go well, ahead. hey, first of all, if these people are qualified physicians and went to a qualified medical school and they speak French or English, sure. And if they're qualified doctors, fine. And let them go to our school, I like to have a fast track program for them. And if they meet up to our standards, fine. Then we bring them in as doctors. We're, That's just we're close. Easy. We're close. Okay. I, I've been saying that uh, uh, the last month that they should bring in foreign doctors and let these. Uh, Canadian students uh, finish their studies. In the interim, you bring these foreign doctors, they, like they did in Saskatchewan when the doctors went on strike in Saskatchewan. Uh, uh, Tommy Douglas' uh, predecessor brought in foreign doctors because uh, the guys mm -hmm. went on strike and, and everything uh, worked well and we got Medicare. Okay, so, that's so 25 seconds for you, and Ryan. It's time. What you are proposing, they're actually doing. I mean, they're bringing you know, in physician assistants who have, been trained, who have been trained in foreign lands but who haven't been certified or trained or given the opportunity to intern here in Canada so that they can become fully qualified doctors. But they are in our emergency rooms today and they're doing it. And they've been training more foreign doctors as a percentage they of the They want specialists number. like urologists. They want the special, not just uh, MDs. And that's what these doctors have been asking for because they can't do some of the stuff the specialists can do. And that, that lays the problem. That's where Tony Clement comes in and he's responsible for health care. Quit laying he, blame. He, we want he, to hear No, it's not blame. It's fact. He put uh, six to one. He put, he put uh, tax breaks to the big business. Six to uh, six uh, 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 to tax yeah. big tax. Okay, big here's 30 business. seconds and, up. Ron. And here's an, for program. Well, Ron. And, and here's an idea. Why don't the government of Ontario and tell the health in Canada go over across the river that's only two miles more away at the War Memorial Hospital and have them help us if we get into a problem? Have some type of a we got a free trade agreement, why not free trade in health? 
maybe we got something that we can help them with and we can help them start working together. I'm going to go with that as long as, long as mm -hmm. we uh, respect the Canada Health Act and, yeah, what about me? and, and, and we use that health card, not our credit that's card. That's right. No, no, but I'm saying is we, that's when our, we have universal health care, eh, but, uh, you know, we And the markets can learn from us. They'll that's learn. right. That's okay. right. So Back to Royal Universal market. where available. And no, we have it available always. at War, War Memorial. It's universal where available. If there's no doctor there to provide, there is no access. So we have War Memorial, and that's exactly what the doctors, the ER doctors in this community, have stood up for the patients and said, we refuse to subject our, our patients to substandard care. We need agreements with War Memorial so that when there's an emergency situation that we can't handle, we send them over there where there's supply, where there's access. That's universal access. That's what I, oh, yeah. We're saying the same thing. All, I, all I'm saying is the, uh, the government sat on this uh, for two, uh, two years. And nor is that he knew about it. I, and they knew about the uh, 19 ERs oh, of Sault Ste. Marie and, and, <laughs> and sitting on the shelf and got dusty. And they waited. And now now it come, it come home to roost. And now we're paying the price. Because when you say because you when know, Paul, when you Paul say you know, you say you assume David Orzetti knew. No, he knew about it. Okay. Or he, or do you he, have or some he's proof? Incompetent. Do you have some proof? Yeah, two years ago, the heads government knew about this, and if he didn't know about it, he's incompetent, and he should resign. They were working one on other, other things. I mean, oh, yeah. one thing at a time. The nice exchange over to Ron. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. David Orzetti resigned, Bill thinks so. I hope he's so. He's doing it as a liberal, as a liberal, liberal. he's doing he's a, a fantastic job. But anyway, he's better than the last guy that was there. There's no difference between those two. A blue and blue light. <laughs> what are you talking about? Conservatives and liberals are the same. Right. Okay. 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 All right. Over to Ann. Ann, do you have anything to say? Well, if it wasn't for our health care system and our hospitals here in Sault Ste. Marie, I think I would have been dead by now. Mm. I thanks for coming down here. Excellent, excellent care. That's right. In the emergencies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hallelujah. And on that I note, I have wonderful doctors, and I love every one of them. And I'm behind yep. the doctors 110%. And on that note, Ann, you've spoken more sense than all of the guys. So we'll end it here.